We're taking out the pots. We are using recipes. We are batch cooking. Uh, this particular cooker is actually multi-use, so it does many different things. It does everything. It, it sautés, it simmers, it pressure cooks, it slow cooks. Okay. There isn't anything you, that you can't do in this pot. Basically, if you rent an apartment and you don't have a stove, just buy this pot. Okay. <laughs> You'll be fine. Do it all. Yeah, it'll do everything for you. So for today, you're going to be making, you're going to be doing rice, yes. uh, saffron rice, uh, as well as chicken. So chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. Pot. Pretty simple and straightforward. Nice. I was always really nervous cooking rice because I grew up cooking potatoes. Yes. And so it was just yeah, like, no, yeah. I get it. I get it. it's one of those things you always get a little nervous about, right? <laughs> it's true, right? It doesn't right? work out every time. No. And then my rice game got better and better. Uh -huh. I understood like the lid had a lot to do with it. Mm, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. It's trial and error sometimes. Yeah. But using a, something like this, it's absolutely perfect because the ratios are even. Right. So basically, you are going. If you're going two cups rice, you're going two cups liquid. Mm. So that's pretty simple. So the yep. first tip I could give you is basically wash your rice. We got jasmine rice here, right? Yep. And wash it maybe two or three times. And when you're done, like wash it again two or three times. <laughs> dish soap. Yeah. No dish soap. Oh, dish soap. <laughs> no, it's a rinse. It's a rinse. You're oh, washing off the starch, right? Yeah. And that's what basically what you're doing. If you don't have a measuring cup at home, like you know, I for some reason don't like using them. You don't them. measure anything. You don't measure no. anything, right? Yeah. Just we throw it in, into something like this. You're like, okay, well, I don't know what that is. That's measure that many cups, cup. right? But then you're like, you just get your stock, your chicken stock, and you're like, where was it? It was like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like you're now a mixologist, right? And you chuck it in. It's, it's basically that simple, right? Okay. So then we're going to get started on our chicken. So, gentlemen, do you mind seasoning that up? Oh, pretty yes. heavy. Um, yeah, like heavy, like, like kosher salt proper. and pepper. Proper, yeah. Give it a good, real, real give it a good one, right? And then we do a little bit of olive oil in a cast iron pan. We'll just get those a sear. And as those are getting a little bit more caramelized, we can talk about thighs. Mm -hmm. It's very important <laughs> to talk about thighs. Thighs are very important. I love the thighs. Beautiful. The thighs like are my thighs. favorite. So is yes. the burn. Right? <laughs> it's all about the squats. It's very important. But the thighs, you want the skin on and you want the bone in. Right. This is very important in this dish because we need that to kind of like go with the rice. And it's going to fortify the rice as it cooks. Oh, right. And it's going to give it a bit more flavor. Yeah. And the skin is just going to give it a little bit more crispiness, a little bit more texture. And I know a lot of people of like the thighs more than, say, breasts. Yeah, because there actually sure. is some, there's some more fat in there. There's some more flavor in there. And it's probably going to work better in a recipe like this. A hundred percent. And, you know, the whole idea is we don't really want to share the secret. We shouldn't be telling people this because then the yeah. thighs will go up and the breasts will go down in price. <laughs> <laughs> like, I go to the grocery store and I'm like, this is the best deal ever. I know. And then you look over to that person beside you buying chicken breasts. You're like, sucker. <laughs> 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 this is, like, this is different. I don't well, know. But you have to bring them more work into the thighs, right? So, but that's, that's but true. But not much. Yeah. Right? But you, you can't just grill a chicken. You know, grill a chicken breast where you go. You're done. This you need to cook it, let it develop. Right. You know, but you're right, they're way more flavor. Way more flavor. And oh. something like this that we're gonna cook and maybe hold, they're gonna hold the moisture in too. So it's actually if you're if you're a beginner cook, it's actually easier to get to where you need to go yeah. and it's a safer area. Right. A bigger landing if yeah. you had won't an airplane or something. <laughs> so let's go back to our okay. rice here. Basically you're just gonna take, take some garlic and just kinda like push that in. Just grate it up so it's nice and fine. So we're gonna get big, big garlic flavor. You didn't want to chop it like everybody else? No, did? no chopping yeah. today. Yeah. I'm gonna get lazy. Wow. And then you know you say this and I'm gonna grate the schlot and I'm probably wow. thinking to myself, this is a really bad idea. Oh uh -huh. yes. Because it is. you know the flavor is <laughs> where I want it because I want it broken down, but I'm gonna start crying. Yeah. So if I do, you know, it's just it's a emotional. Know nice the dishwasher or something? Oh, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want it broken right down in the rice, and then it, it kind of dissipates a little bit quicker. Okay. The reason for that, I don't want too much flavor in there, because what we are doing now is saffron. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Let's talk about saffron. For some reason, you have in a little baggie there. Right, a little baggie it's so here. It's so precious. It's so look precious, but look at this. Like this is how it came. Mm -hmm. 0. 0.5 of a gram lot, for like 13 freaking dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why you need to buy the thighs. This one the most yeah, you got the thighs and the saffron. But it's like the saffron comes out and it's just like that thing like all of a sudden like the lights go down, the disco balls out and it's like Brian Adams heaven and I'm just like I'm back in like slow dancing with it. It's just like it brings me back there. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, what are am what I getting else? weird now, guys? What is what it is getting weird? A little bit, yeah. yeah. You know you're supposed to cook with the saffron, not snorkel, right? <laughs> Throw in about, you know, $8 of the saffron. Check you it in there, right? You don't need a ton of it in there, right? You really don't, but you know what? If you really want that mood, that, you know, <laughs> slow dancing fine, mood, you know, that grade. heaven, yeah. Like, you would throw it, it in there. It. Get it in there. So then we got our chicken thighs here. Oh, okay, yeah. what we need. Almost there. We're almost there. So yeah, you're going to be cooking this there. all together, in, together. The, in the so basically, multi use cooker. Thighs go in. Yeah. Right? Oh, look at that saffron. The yellow's coming. Oh, my stars. <laughs> <So good. laughs> 
<laughs> so then you put it in the multi-use cooker. Yeah. You set it for four minutes. If pressure cooks for four minutes, it sits for ten minutes, and that's it. Like you just wow. it's and it can actually sit for a little bit longer if you want, but you come oh. back, you take the steam out, right? Uh-huh. Well makes funny noises. Yeah. Sounds like our the little robot. You open it up. What? Oh yeah. Oh. And then check so this look at out. That. Can we see? Can we see that? that? It's ah, like there you look go. at this perfectly cooked saffron rice that with beautiful chicken thighs. That's 14 beautiful. Fourteen minutes.